Listen, from when I was a child, I was always thinking to myself, why do these Ghanaian pastors always speak their own language? What about me? I used to think it was me. I used to think it was my fault. Like, like is there something wrong with me? I can't understand the language. But it's not me, it's them. Yeah? Like, they do it in Ghana too. That's slightly understandable. Because in Ghana, most people speak their local dialect. That's all right. But still, most people speak English at the same time. But to bring it to England, that's a calamity. Yeah? The thing is, a lot of these pastors do know how to speak English, but they choose to speak their own language, which it might be tree, it might be ga, whatever. Yeah? But it's not fair for the people who come to the church because they don't understand what you're saying. You see? They don't understand what you're saying. At least, if you don't speak English as a pastor, at least get a church member or an assistant or an usher to stand there and help you translate everything you're saying so people, who, the English speakers in the church can understand. Yeah? They shouldn't be self-centred. They shouldn't make the church about themselves and their own people. You see? They're, they're comfortable with their own people. Ah, this is for me. That's not how God is. Yeah? God's for everyone. God's for everyone. Make it about everybody so that everybody can come to your church because it's God's word. It's not your word. It's not the tree word. It's God's word. So it has to be spread. Even even Ghanaians, not every Ghanaian understands tree. You get me? You might get a Ga person who comes to your church and they only speak Ga. You see? So you're discriminating, discriminating against your own people. Yeah? There's Nigerians, there's Cameroonians, there's Congolese, there's Caribbeans. There might be a few English people who come to your church. You see, there might be a few Americans. So what are you going to do about that? They might come there once, then they'll be like, I'm not coming here again. I don't even understand what this pastor's saying. So you've just lost members like that, extra members, because you want to be comfortable with your own people. Yeah. But most Gar Ghanaian pastors, they don't even care. They're like, ah, oh, it doesn't matter. If they don't speak my language, then it's, it's up to them. They should learn how to speak, speak their language. But it's not like that. It's not good to have that kind of mentality. Yeah? These are the same pastors who complain, oh, people don't like coming to our church. People are racist. Young people don't like going to church. What do you expect? A young person born in England, most likely he doesn't understand tree. Or he might understand a little bit. You think he wants to sit there the whole service, he doesn't even understand what you're saying. You see, it doesn't make sense. Not only do you need to attract people born in England, but what about the other races? Like I just mentioned, what about the other races? Yeah? English is the most universal language that most people from every country speak. So it makes sense if you speak English to attract everybody and anybody. It's God's house, it's not your house. Yeah? These same pastors will say, oh, we need to pray. The devil is stopping us. It's stopping people from coming to the church. It's not the devil. It's you. It's you. It's not the devil. Yeah. People from different races and different cultures will like you and respect you more when they know that you can relate to them. On top of that, you're blocking your own progress. Because when it comes to growing a church, you're going to struggle. Because like, say if you want another pastor to like you. Like, you want them to invite you to, to their church, they're not going to invite you to their church. Because they don't even understand your language, and their church people don't understand your language. You get me? You can't get invited to an, uh, an American church, because you can't speak tree in an, in an American church. You won't get invited to an, a Nigerian church, because they won't understand your language, you see? So that's what I'm talking about. You can't go on national television in or radio in England or America or any other country other than Ghana because people won't understand your language and the broadcasters won't put you out there because they can't monitor what you're saying. You see? You see? You just missed two opportunities there, two big opportunities. And that's how most churches just stay small. They don't they don't move forward. So you're blocking your own blessings, you're blocking your own progress just because of your selfish desires. Yeah, the word is for everyone. That's why the Bible was translated from Hebrew to English. 
so that the English speakers can understand. Yeah? Even the Jews translated the Torah from Hebrew to English for people to understand. Even Muslims translated the Quran from Arabic so people can understand. Yeah? The aim of being a man of God is to spread the word. So using a universal language will help you do that. God doesn't discriminate. He appreciates. If you're a deep thinker, a conscious thinker, someone who likes to think about life, and you, you, you like to question yourself all the time, like, why is life like this? Why do people behave like this? Why is society like this? Yeah. I suggest you read this book, True Colours 2. You might already have wisdom, but it's good to gain more wisdom. And if you don't have enough wisdom, it's good to gain wisdom, you know? So it will change the way you think about life. Because people just walk around freely with rose-tinted lenses and think life is okay. It's not okay. Yeah? This book will teach you the ins and outs of life. It's a conspiracy theory book. Not in a negative way, but it just wakes you up and you see things from a different perspective. Then you're going to read it and you're going to be like, wow, I never knew this. I never knew that. So it, it, it just changes your angle of thinking. And that's why I suggest this book. So you should get this book. True Colours 2 is on Amazon, written by me, Nathan Buckman.